Hi, hi, ho! It is a new runner event in Dragon City, and this new Acro run has the Calacrobatic Dragon as the new reward dragon, and I'm sure a lot of us, myself included, want to get this dragon because we are just one dragon away from finishing off part of the Masked Fighters collection. The one I'm talking about here is this one that has all the various dragons. You can get a Phoenix perk and some Joker orbs from it. We have collected all the other dragons so far, so this is the last guy to go. So of course we will go through this runner event today. But this is your regular old runner event. If you're wondering where you can get two free to play, very roughly it tends to be around about this area here where the XL food boxes are. Depends whether you go down the runner event path in the maze. Also depends of course on how well you do per run in the runner event. Because for runner event runs, you can get a max of 120 pinwheels per run. But some people don't get 120 per run. They might get closer to 100, 110. As long as you're getting at least 110 per run on average, normally you can get to roughly around about this area. In theory, you can get right down to the end and get every single reward in a runner event. But you would have to spend a ridiculous amount of gems to do that. So the free to play section is like roughly down here roughly where the insignias are but that is the general gist of runner events we've been through runner events many times of course it's just this is part of the collection so we really want to get this done of course runner events also have event items we've got gems lots of gems other dragons as well like max Auron. basically runner events are just very very uh, I, I guess the best word is they're very giving and we also have maze coins available in runner events as well and you can see that we can get quite a substantial amount from this event too so we want to be picking up all the maze currency we want to be picking up the insignias we want to be picking up the event items the dragons and uh, should be quite easy because runner events are generally quite easy as long as you know what you're doing but we also have these tasks here and these tasks can be a little bit troublesome because they can get a little bit like heroic races mainly the hatching eggs breeding dragons those ones because for the first refresh of this event which we just got a new refresh five minutes ago which is at 7 p.m in the uk uh, but we've got a new refresh now which means that we can do these next set of tasks and if you want to know what the new upcoming task is use deet list for this deet list is actually updated at the moment and it will show you what the next mission set is. So if we refresh this, then you'll see that it shows us the current mission set, how many items we will need to finish it, how much currency we'll get. And it also shows us what the upcoming mission sets are. The other reason why I love Deet List in particular for runner events is because they actually have a pinwheel calculator, which is pretty easy to work out anyway. But this just means that you don't even have to use 1% of your brain. It will do it for you. So it will show you how many pinwheels you actually need to be able to get up to a certain score. And if you want to know what score you need for a certain item, well, that's where D Ditlep comes in. Because like, if we open up the runner event event bit here and then we scroll down, you'll see that to get the actual reward dragon, it's the same as always, but you'll need to get 4,500 pinwheels as it showcases here. So if you want to know how many pinwheels you'll need to get, if you get an average score of 110, let's say that we currently have like um, 200 stamps that we want to use, and then we calculate it, and then you'll see that we'll get 4,400 pinwheels if we get an average score of 1,100, which is pretty much just under what we need to get the Calacrobatic Dragon. So if we get like 210 stamps total from all of the resets, you'll see that we'll get 4,600, which means that we can get the reward dragon from it. So you roughly want to be getting about 200 flight stamps as long as you're getting 110 plus per run. Uh, more like 205 flight stamps, but that's for anyone that can get up to this. Of course, if you can only get 100 per run, then you're going to have to get more flight stamps in order to do this. So like 250 flight stamps at 100 is going to be 5,000 pinwheels. So you can use this calculator. It's nice and easy, and you can basically type in your current amount of flight stamps for it. But let's do these very quickly, just as a quick showcase. Collecting goals should be pretty self-explanatory. You just collect the gold that is there from your habitats. Super easy. Collecting food is also pretty easy. 
uh, the only thing is when you're collecting this food it's normally better to pop in the shortest food timers just so that you don't end up you know with uh basically uh getting to the point where you can't do any of these collection tasks so it's normally better to throw in the bluebell bouquets and just keep recollecting them as if you would in a you know let's say a heroic race or something you can also pop in the longer food timers like the one day food timers or the piranha plants if you know what's coming up by using de uh, deet list but just to avoid any potential wrongdoing and screwing up it is just safest to use the shortest food timer which is why i recommend it but i will use at least half of my farms with longer food so that then the next time we have a food collecting task we can do at least all of it or most of it instantaneously rather than having to you know keep putting in the shortest food timers collecting and hoping for an item now the plus seven one that we've got here is hatching eggs and the longer the timer is on an eggs hatch the more likely you are to get an item which is the exact same as it is for the heroic race like we just got an item there and we just got currency because you know it's new reset for the maze event as well but if you don't have skips and if you don't have any eggs that are ready to be hatched then the best thing that you can do to finish this task on is going to be the same as with heroic race it's going to be hatching terror dragon eggs of course it's not ideal because you're not guaranteed to get an item every time but you can just redo it and redo it and redo it until you get all of the items that you need to finish that off so uh, just keep hatching terror dragon eggs the other sort of tasks that we get you can again see on deet list next mission set we're going to have three league battles which league battles are pretty self-explanatory make sure that you don't use your league currency before that mission set comes up because otherwise you're either going to have to gem it or you're just going to miss out on the flight stamps which you don't want to do but you just need to go in and do the battles it is that simple and win them of course next one we've got coming up is going to be feeding dragons which is pretty simple just level up a level one dragon easy peasy lemon squeezy we've also got breeding dragons which is very similar to the hatching dragons quest except you're you're gonna need both breeding den slots and you're gonna need hatchery slots for it so you know for the hatching you have to physically place the egg in to see if you get the item whereas with breeding you're going to be breeding together two terror dragons non-empowered terrors make sure you remember they're non-empowered terrors because like you might have a super empowered and breeding perked terror but make sure you use the non-empowered ones when you do these breeds and then you pop in two terror dragons and then once the egg is done you pop it into your hatchery and then you'll see whether you get the item or not so it is pretty much the same as heroic race when you are doing these tasks the breeding and hatching in particular but you're not guaranteed an item so you just have to rebreed and rebreed and rebreed until you get the item that you want so that is those and more or less that is everything for the runner events you know we've gone through all the other tasks it's basically if you've ever done heroic races before it's more or less the same in terms of how, how you would tackle the tasks so it's pretty self-explanatory for anyone that's ever done heroic races before for how to do these tasks as well it's pretty much exactly the same but that is how you do all of these tasks i have uploaded a separate video before on how to actually get 120 pinwheels close to every single time of course sometimes you might have a bad run and accidentally run into something that you shouldn't it happens to everyone but generally you should be aiming for at least 110 pinwheels per run and uh, you know in general if you're not able to do that you just need to get good unfortunately we do also have fighter quests which do have flight stamps in them and just before i do a run of the runner event i will also showcase the actual maze portion that also has runner event flight stamps in it so the runner event currency because it's your choice whether you want to go down the runner event path in the maze event if you are saving up for other things in the maze event i can understand if you don't want to spend it on the runner event side but the glutty path here which opened today you can get your hands on bonus flight stamps you'll see there's times five times five event item times five times five so it won't be giving a huge amount of flight stamps 
but it will at least give enough for a couple of resets worth of flight stamps so that's like what uh, two thirds of the day's worth of flight stamps that you can get just from this path alone so it's your choice whether you want to pick them up and do as well as you possibly can in the runner event itself but if you are desperate for some runner event stamps you've only got a day and 15 hours to choose to get them so maybe calculate how much currency you've got how much currency you need for the actual runner event and then work out whether you want to go down that path but while we're here, I have not done runner event for a while now, but let's go ahead and do a quick run. You know, I do recommend watching that video where I went through how to play this event for both PC and mobile players, because I think a lot of people either don't understand particular patterns in this and how to tackle them, or they're having some sort of device issue. And honestly, you can get 110 pinwheels minimum per run, whether you play on PC or mobile, but it is much easier on PC because you can just use the arrow keys and the space bar. Whereas on mobile, you've got to deal with sticky fingers, moving it across the screen. I am not a fan, personally, at all. Uh, but of course, as we go through these runner events, it starts off nice and slow pace picks up and then once you get to 120 pinwheels that have appeared that is when pinwheels stop appearing and then we only get terrible rewards after that so normally as soon as you get 120 pinwheels you will just commit self-harm or as, as this runner event dragon not as you IRL please do not be mistaken uh, but basically you'll run into a rock instantly fail the run when you get to 120 pinwheels and then you do another one that is the quickest way of being the most efficient during this event but you should get used to these patterns over time and what you need to do to be able to deal with them but i have gone through each of the patterns before but it's pretty chill and you just have to do the exact same thing over and over again avoid the rocks jump over the small ones if you need to the big ones you can't jump over those so just up and down and there we go we're gonna die on this rock so it is that simple 120 pinwheels we can't get any more than that so that's why i instantly commit self-harm and then we claim these and since we aren't gonna have any oh it's so tempting i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna claim the five uh but you see we've got ads on that one uh we do have the chance of dropping a little bit more extra with the roulette chests as well but make sure you spend all of your currency in both the runner event and the maze event because we're not going to have any conjoined events with these two so make sure you spend all of your runner event currency instantly and your maze event currency make sure you spend that within four days and 15 hours because you're not going to have anything else to spend it on but i think that is the general gist of things that are currently going on the other thing that i did want to very quickly mention in case you have not seen anything about it is that we do currently have some special calendar stuff going on this heroic streak stuff it's been going on for a few days now but it says log in every day during this period to claim special calendar streak rewards you'll earn enough orbs to summon the high tidal dragon if you keep your login streak going so as long as you make sure that you log in every day, you'll basically just get a free heroic, which is, well, that's great. If you, do you normally get free heroics like that unless you get lucky? Not really. So that is free low, basically. And of course, we've had this mythical collection ongoing at the same time. So there's that one to be logging in for as well. The other thing from today, which I don't have a video recording of because I did this while I was at work on my phone, I actually managed to get courageous karma for a total cost of three gems believe it or not and if you don't believe me it's actually in my storage right now uh, because we got 30 32 gems back from the wizard's hollow and we spent 35 gems total to get courageous karma some food chests so wizard's hollow has been incredibly kind to me recently and we got lucky with our insignia chests so game I don't know what you're trying to throw at me but you're making me feel very privileged right now uh, but either way it's a free karma for us the only reason i haven't started hatching it yet is because we need the free slots for the runner event otherwise i would of course already be jumping in there getting this new karma dragon hatched now will i actually use courageous karma probably not it's not a priority because we've got like 
you know, Corrupted Legend and we've got other legends that we've been working on. So I'll probably still prioritize them for now, but it is just lovely for our collection to get a free dragon like this. And the bonus food is lovely, like we're up to 53 million as a result of winning that run before. But I got very lucky to be able to essentially spend three gems to get a free karma dragon and like 10 million food. That is an insane deal, of course. But that was my day in this game. So uh, I guess we will claim our daily chest. And the last thing that I will note about this runner event is make sure that you are watching the ads because we do have flight stamps in the ads. We've also got the blue dragon TV coins as well, of course, but make sure you're watching your ads to get some bonus flight stamps. You could get up to 10 from this ad alone, which is actually quite a significant amount. So uh, make sure you're logging in, make sure you're doing these tests. The, the, the hatching one will be a bit grindy, I know, uh, but it, it's just the way that it be. And sometimes if you pop in the breeding section, then you don't have to go into the store and physically buy the egg. I actually find this quite, quite handy to do it this way. Uh, but it's your choice whether you want to physically go into the shop and purchase the egg or if you just want to, you know, throw the egg in from the breeding den. All your choice, but make sure you're physically placing the egg when it comes to the hatching bit. And with the breeding bit, make sure you're physically putting it into the hatchery to claim the item. But anyway, that is the new runner event. I wish you the best. I wish you the best with any of this special breeding event, island breeding, because, you know, especially during runner event, it's difficult to get these breedings done. So best of luck if you're trying to breed these dragons. Speedy and greedy looks really weird in normal dragon form, by the way. But anyway, I'm going to skedaddle because we have Starfield to play and Honkai stuff. So uh, I'll be honest, Dragon City is not my priority, but I will at least log in every eight hours to do these tasks, get this event done and still get the Dragon City stuff done. But it is uh, not quite as exciting for me. But anyway, I wish you the best. <laughs>